Welcome back, it's me Lou. I'm here for another action figure unboxing and review and today from Mattel in their WWE Elite Collection we are featuring from series 99 Queen Zelina. Alright so we have Zelina herself, um, great looking figure. As you can see she comes with everything she needs. She has her crown, her scepter and this predates her uh, time with Legato del Fantasma and the LWO. Uh, on the back, she hails from Queens, New York, standing in at 5 feet 1 inch. Her finisher is the Code Red. So, uh, this captures her from two years ago uh, when she was Queen of the Ring. Uh, fantastic looking action figure. Um, I think the only other Zelina Vega figure I have is the basic figure that came in the two-pack with Andrade. And that was some years ago. Um... All right, so we have Zelina Vega. Um, big fan of Zelina Vega. Uh, I remember years ago when she had her interview on Lillian Garcia's Chasing Glory podcast. And uh, when I heard her interview, she kind of like this really won me over. Uh, she was very down to earth, uh, had an amazing uh, backstory um, prior to her career. Um, I think she was trained by the Hardys, and if my memory serves me correctly, I think she was in Impact uh, shortly before she was in NXT. Alright, so I'm trying to get out her scepter without uh, warping it, but it's a little bit warped in the package, but it's kind of cool. It has like a giant like gemstone on the top, a uh, silver handle. Uh, extra pair of hands uh, she comes with I believe this is like the the queen hand like when she's waving to her fellow um, <laughs> peasants that are beneath her and then uh, here's her other hand So again, this is a much uh, dated look. You know, this is from like two years ago. You know, currently she's aligned herself with uh, Legato del Fantasma and Rey Mysterio, and they're part of the LWO. Uh, the crown accessory, I think, is kind of like the highlight of this set. Uh, it's made of a softer, rubbery plastic. And you can put it on her head, and she looks so cute in it. Love her facial expression. It's really well done. You know, great attention to detail on her gear. The tattoo, the fishnet stockings. Yeah, incredible looking figure. Really well done. So she's she's had a couple of figures, you know, throughout her career in the WWE, and I think for me right now this might be my favorite. Uh, I remember seeing the promotional photos for it, and I thought it was the the, the coolest thing. Especially if you have the the King Nakamura figure. I don't know. There's just something with wrestlers and crowns. I think it looks fantastic. And let's get the scepter in hand. Let's see how that looks. Yeah, so beautiful looking figure. Really well done. Great job by Mattel. Alright, so let's wrap this one up. Uh, once again, my name is Lou. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you are a returning viewer subscriber, thank you so much for your continued support. I greatly appreciate it. So until the next video, be safe. Take care of yourself. Buy lots of toys. And most importantly, be happy. And I'll see you at the next one. Alright, later.